Hey everybody, welcome back to Jamea's Promo, and today we're going to talk about what you're able to do if you have any type of issues after you update your Samsung Galaxy phone. So lately we've been talking about a lot of updates, really mostly about Samsung One UI 2.1. A lot of us is getting the update last week, this week, or next week, and there is a universal fix that you're able to do on a Samsung phone. Now if you find out that after you do this universal fix, if you still have issues maybe inside of messages, I can show you how you can can fix those by a per app basis. By the way, before we dive deep with this little trick, if you guys are appreciating this video, if you guys will be learning something in this video, make sure you guys go and hit that subscribe button. I know that about 86% of you watching this video is not subscribed. So you can join this party for free just by hitting subscribe and you can hit the bell for notifications so you get notified for all of the future videos so you don't miss any of these tips and tricks. So now let's head over and let's do this universal fix. First off, what you want to do is you want to turn off your phone. And then once you turn this thing off, you'll wait for it to, you know, vibrate, go black. This is where you're able to wipe cache partition. Now, what you're doing with wipe cache partition is where when your phone does a software update, there's a lot of lagged and small data that is still on the phone that you need to get rid of because that is what is having an issue with this newer update. So now that the phone is off, just head over to your volume up and power, which is also the Bixby button. Let go of both of them the moment your phone vibrates and you see it pop up. It's going to put you into this screen here. Now, as you look at this screen, what you're going to want to do is use your volume rocker. So this is the basically down cursor and then your, your power button will be enter. Now you're going to scroll down to where it says wipe cache partition. And then inside of here, once you hit on this button one time, it'll actually clear all of that, that little lost data that's sitting in your phone. And then once you hit on yes, it wiped that data. And then you hit the power button one more time to give it a reboot. Now, as the phone turns on, you might be asking yourself a question is, you know, if it's wiping some things, do I lose any data? It does not delete any personal files or personal information or none of that. It just deletes anything that is system based, anything that was used for an update, some data that is sitting there and then now causing data with the newer. It's very similar if you have multiple different virus protections on your computer, they're all gonna fight against each other and it's gonna make your computer slower. It's easier to get rid of two and keep one. That's basically what we're doing here. So let's go through, unlock the phone. So as you turn on the phone, everything is exactly where it was from before. There's nothing you have to re-log back into. All of your images are gonna be there. All of your text messages are gonna be there. Now on that note, let's state that after you do this universal fix, if you have a particular application that's giving you problems, if it's going slow, it's laggy, let's say maybe your messages is what's giving you problems. All you'd have to do is just go inside of your settings you're gonna scroll down to where you can go where it says applications, and then just find that troublesome application, that application that is having problems, it's laggy, it's slow, whatever it is. Uh, and then this example, we're just gonna talk about messages. Now once you click on messages, once you go inside of here, go inside of your storage, and then this is where you wanna clear the cache and clear your data. So this is where you clear the cache and you can clear the data. I just cleared the data first off, so it actually clears both of them. Uh, now, when you clear all of that information, uh, actually, if you wanted to as well, you can go to force stop. And so it's just gonna stop the application. And then now that you cleared the cache and you cleared the storage, once you open up your messages, it might take a second for it to load, but everything is still sitting there. It doesn't get rid of all that, again, personal information. It's just getting rid of anything that's just kind of sitting there, uh, you know, in, in the space of technology that is giving any type of an issue. But I hope you guys have liked this video. If you guys did, please give this thing a huge thumbs up. Don't forget to hit on subscribe. Subscribe right over here in the very bottom left-hand side. And if you like this video, then more than likely you'll also like this video. And I'll see you guys later.